good evening or oh, by the time you're going to watch this is probably during the day welcome to my channel perspectives are where i aim to give you an honest unbiased perspective of today's happenings in south africa whether it be politics sport or sport related politics apologies for that well today was quite interesting because twitter went crazy uh, all news outlets reported on this I'd like to go to the most basic one, which is News24 and all its subsidiaries, in this case, Sport24, and hear what they have to say and just give my commentary on it. So, Kulisi said Madiba, which is Nelson Mandela, wouldn't have supported a quota system. Now, for quick reference, a quota system, or system, let's, let's always go and ask Google, man. What is a quota system? Google, give us a definition of this thing, man. A quota system is often part of an affirmative action policy. Uh, a lot of countries have affirmative action policies, so by the way, not just South Africa. But in those cases, it is mainly used as a target, meaning to target a specific audience within a single entity. Quotism mm -hmm, applies to the whole country and is enforced by legislation on all public and private entities. Quotism is a concept of organizing society by a quota system whether by racial which is in our case soon it will be by gender in the workplace it's already a uh, woman um, or demographic uh, attributes the basic premise is to have demographics represented at all levels that's that's the most important part though. the basic premise of quotism is to have a good representation of the demographic so what is a demographic is a demographic South Africa? Well, it would have been easy uh, if all South Africans were black or all South Africans were colored or white or Indian. However, we are not. So we have to now focus on uh, uh, singular demographics. So we focus on blacks of their populace. We focus on whites on their populace, etc., etc. But we are now moving away from the basics of it. So you get the gist of what quotas mean. And no quotas do not mean um, uh, a quota player therefore useless. You know, that's that's the most dumb, dumbest thing I've ever heard. And the sad part is that quite often you hear people on public... Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, or on, on, on social media, excuse me... Uh, Public platforms proclaim that a quota means useless. But we'll get into that now. Let's let's see what Sport 24 says. I don't know who wrote this. Uh, guys don't say who writes it here. Maybe the guy writes shit and they don't want to identify him. In Cape Town, Primo Captain Sia Kulisi, first black captain, so by the way, says he does not want to be picked because of the color of his skin, and the former president Nelson Mandela would not have supported quota system. In South Africa sport. Well, see, uh, in South Africa, with that little springbok here on your left and chest, a lot of people are not gonna like you based on how you look. And that very first sentence you said there, they already think that's the reason you're the captain. You're already coming in at a negative moment. Kulisi was speaking to Kyoto News, no idea who that is, during a recent uh, trip to Japan. You know these Japanese want to ask you that guy crazy questions. Where he was speaking as an ambassador for Panasonic. Nice. Kulisi, the first black man to ever captain the spring box, so won't be the last, was asked about how Mandela would have responded to the idea of transformation targets in national sports teams. Transformation merely means inclusion. You know, include everyone. Currently, it's, it's, it's exclusive. We need to be inclusive. I don't think, and this is now Kulisi speaking here, he would have supported that, but I don't know him. Clearly, he was a lighty when Madiba was still there. And this is, again, Sia Kulisi's opinion. Okay? Now we need to ask Sia Kulisi, what does he mean by supported that? What does that mean? And what does Sia... Is Sia referring to that, choosing a player based on the color of his skin? Is Sia thinking 
that transformation or a quota means color of the skin. Ooh, it's a lot more than that. See, come on now. You shouldn't put a number on stuff like that. Uh, whatever that means. If you want to talk about transformation, you have to go, or oh, you've got to start there. Okay, again, the guys speaking to the universe. People fold in the gaps at grassroots level. Agreed. Well, what does this mean? Is this, this is an open-ended statement. What does it mean? Does it mean you say um, quotaism uh, should be affected now as it is now? And should be uh, advanced progressively or aggressively? Or do you say, hey, stop quotas, especially before the Rugby World Cup in th this year, and rather start there at grassroots level? Let's say grassroots level is Ramiki Rugby. Before grade one, my friend. That means if you are if you are currently in standard ten and you have a possible scholarship looming at Tux or Martis or wherever for rugby, and you're a coloured fuck, my man. There's no there's 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 no there's no uh, um. There's no more open gate for you. Whereas for a white guy, in the same situation, there's an, there's an, there's this almost deliberate or um, expected open gate. Whereas for the other guys, the Indian, the colored and the black guy, you know, he has to go and ring the bell at the gate, ask for the pin code, you know. They first have to do a little tap dance, do a couple of steps, measure his speed when he runs along the line, take his height, measure his uh, strength, you know, there's a forward player, and then maybe they will open the gate for him. Where's with the white guy? It is almost just expected that he, that, that he has these traits. And this is what we are ultimately fighting in sports. It's the expectation that a quota means anti-white, but also in the reverse, a quota means poor non-white, performance-wise. But also then go a double up reverse. This has this expectation and major assumption that means that white is just right. White just so happen to have all these things that you say a quota doesn't have. Therefore, he needs his color in order to be on the level of the white. That's a most excuse me, a Moore's argument, and this is why this is currently trending. Because quotaism is a major problem, especially in, in rugby and cricket. Now, one can argue, and, and I agree with the sentiment that why is quotas not applied in soccer? If you look at soccer, you only see black guys, man. I'm shocked when I see Dean Furman and I see a colored guy here and there. So what is that all about? Is there no quotas required there? If you look at the stadiums, only three games get filled. It's Pirates, Chiefs and Mamalodi Sundowns. Bloemfontein Celtics is good following. Maritzburg is good following. And now recently Cape Town guys have, to have, a, have, a, have a better following. But yet when Bafana is selected, the majority of the guys are black. And do not come and group coloreds and Indians with black people because they are different demographic. So where's the white guys at? Because I know a lot of white ladies that play soccer, especially in English or private schools, especially. But I digress. Kulisi goes on to say, imagine I hadn't gone to an English school. Hey, Im imagine I hadn't gone to an English school. I wouldn't have eaten properly. I, okay. I wouldn't have grown properly and I wouldn't have had the preparation. The other boys... Hmm, okay, okay, I changed my entire outlook and rhetoric on this uh, topic or this uh, article that C. Aglisi said. I didn't know he said that. Okay, this now puts perspective in here. So if you didn't know the background or the backstory of C. Aglisi, um basically he was identified by his coach and Strings were pulled in one, two, three. They realized this like he has so much talent, but his current situation dictates that he will never ever make it 
which is the sad reality of a lot of black colored Indian guys, okay? Simply because of their upbringing in the past, etc. They took him out of his situation, put him in a private or, or English school. And, and I think that's what he meant by English school because it was indeed a private school. I'm not going to name the name here. And all of us in South Africa know what private school means. It means everything is the best. There's absolutely no reason for you to blame resources. Okay, if you didn't make it, make it and you were there, uh, it speaks levels to your character and your skill. He obviously made it because the foundation was there. So he's he is 100% right, man. They all probably ate steaks and they probably gave him tons and tons of creatine and, 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 and protein shakes and whatnot. He had a gym he could frequent 24 hours. You know, he had tutors and all these things that would focus on his schoolwork while he would focus on getting big like this. I would have grown properly again. Agreed. Years ago, there was a story of Makaya and Tini and um, uh, his opinion on other uh, 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 black fast bowlers. There was this guy, I can't re remember his name now. And they actually said that he had stunted growth because he ate pop and I don't know what else. Um, that was basically his nutrition. You know, yes, white people, black people eat pop, who are poor, they eat um, cool course, because that's literally all they can afford, my man, that's all they can afford, it's not a culture thing, it's an economic thing, he would, you know, you won't grow, you won't grow if you eat like this, okay, there's a certain dietary requirement for any child at any age to have had achieved a certain growth uh, target. Standard growth is heavily influenced by upbringing, meaning eating poorly in the situation you find yourself in. If you eat Gatsby's as a child all day, you are going to be obese. Okay, you're not going to be a fastballer or a penny hands or a swimmer. Okay, I, so, so yeah, I, I agree with what he says there. I think there the important thing to take note is that means a private school. Uh, forget English school. I think nothing against Afrikaans school or Bantu education schools. He literally means a school with good resources, which all of us parents want. It's tough. Maybe in the curry cup you can try guys out and push people in and see how they do. 100% correct. People don't want to talk about it, but it's 100% correct. But you can't just pick somebody in the box side because of his color. That's 100% correct. Everybody in that bog team today, okay, is there on merit. Is there on merit. We can go pull the stats. One day I'll make a, when the, when the Super Rugby is back, oh my word, I'm going to be releasing videos on the daily. Because there's so much to talk about. There is not a player of color there that does not belong there. However, guys like Franz Malherbe, my word. But anyway, in South Africa, it's tough because we want results and transformation, okay? Is that a, uh, meant to go together or is it meant to single each other out? We want results and we want transformation. This is a double negative here. Be careful. So, or, or a, a, a polar opposite, you want to call it that. We want results, meaning we want the Boca to win the, the, the bloody World Cup, man. But now we are saying... Let, let me read it like this. In South Africa, we, it's tough because we want results and transformation. So the results is held to high esteem because, yes, we want that. How are we going to achieve it? By choosing the best. Ah, oh, shit, but guy, remember, you still have transformation. Why? Why is transformation seen as a negative? Show me one play of color who has failed. Show me, I, 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 I challenge you in the comments, show me one play of color and come with unbiased opinions, my man. Come with a proper perspective. Don't come with a biased perspective, please. Show me a play of color who has failed. The talent is there. It's about nurturing it 100%. 100%. White guys have the talent. White guys have that as well. Mother and fathers at home. Father works hard, mother works hard. 
can afford a basic, uh, a proper education, can afford to take child here and there and everywhere around the country to go play Ramiki rugby and this rugby and that rugby there. They can afford that. People that look like this don't even have cars. It's a gross uh, exaggeration, but you get my drift. This is where focus should be. This and that right there. And that right there. But it can't be there. It can't be there. Because that man would have fixed it. But we're getting too political now. The talent is there. I 100% wholeheartedly agree. I wouldn't want to be picked because of my skin color. Because that surely wouldn't be good for the team. 100%. Because they would choose a guy just because he's black. Or should we made our four black players called quota. And the guys around the around you would know exactly the guys around you would know not to pass for this bastard oh shit I, I can't uh, trust him to go in for me I can't trust him to protect me as a fourth player okay that's the end Ugh, again first poor articles no proper introduction no proper ending or say or ending of no proper uh, uh, no proper outro, you know, no no proper send-off, no proper things like this need to be talked about, la, 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 proper journalism, man. What is this, man? You're basically telling us what this guy spoke. So if you didn't hear, then then we know now. Ah, yes. News info, please, man, get, get proper people to write this. That's probably why they don't put a name here. But to get back in this, I don't know why there's such an, such an uproar, because... What Sia is speaking is the truth. Every single rugby fan does not like transformation. Sorry, does not like quotaism. Granted, quotaism is a vehicle towards transformation. Now, transformation to what end? Where is it going to end? Are you going to find yourself in 2030 seeking transformation again, but this time having a quota of at least, at least three white players? To represent the populace equally because you guys are the minority what does that mean for for um, a hooker or a flank or, or whoever else in whatever else cricket team oh shit you know they can they can only be three of us but there's eight brilliant guys the best team the best white guys in the country are better than the best top 20 in the country the best eight white guys are also the, the best top 20 in the country. They make the top 20. But shit, we can only choose three of them. You see where this goes. But Sia speaks the truth. Sia speaks what everyone understands. Sia, Sia speaks what, uh, when I say everyone, I'm speaking of sports fans understand. And what, what sports fans um. Uh, believe and want we don't want no quota players it really takes the from the dignity of the player to have that little that little five percent in his mind that little five percent doubt that I might have been chosen because I saw seven black players and I'm the token colored guy um, there was no other fly halves and I'm the literally the only fly half in the country other than other white guys and this is why I was chosen we also run the risk of bigots who look at this and say yeah we told you but fail to look at facts facts is fly half Elton Yankees has a better statistical record in 2018 than they know brother man Vorukum. do those were the facts you know but people didn't see that you find that we live in this country where if it's a black player a colored player or an Indian player there's so much focus on his failures and I'm talking about catching a ball miss and this guy this guy's mother shouldn't have born him yet a white player is not afforded that same vitriol. 
that's what we need to stop as a as a as a as a as a as a population with regards to support for our our sport. However, things like this makes it worse. Things like this increases the distrust. It increases the divided um, opinion on matters like this. But when you speak to everyone, you would you, you would never ever hear someone other than on social media because there they can hide. There no one will check them. Say, I hate these motherfucking blacks in this bloody pop team. You know why you won't say that? Because that's actually not how you feel, man. You are racist if you say that. But we know you don't actually talk like that. You don't actually believe what you're saying. That's not you. You're not about that life. You want what's best for the box. See, I had an epic season last year. Towards the end, it, it, it died down because these guys played so much rugby. Bongin Umbanami was removed. Malcolm Marx brought on. Guy through shit. For the rest of the season. Yet he still made best play of the year. Can you see how the the rules are skewed, man? And it all and it all comes back to how how different demographics within the rugby team even are treated. But I, 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 I totally agree with Sia. I don't understand why people give him a hard time on social media. People are talking about uh, he's not for transformation. People are talking about he's a captain. He should know better. You know, this is the thing about society. They always have these high hopes of you that they don't even have of themselves. <laughs> Good on you, Sia. Good for talking about this. Good for You know, these people asked him. They asked him a question and he answered it. He didn't run away from it. From it. He didn't run away from it. A lot of people would, if it was a white guy, he would not have spoken about it at all. And I think Kyoto News would not have asked him because it's very touchy for white people to talk about. Because as we all know, there's this unsung rule that white people cannot talk about black related matters, which is total bullshit. Voice your opinion, white man. Prat. No, you're not racist. Racism has clear and concise definitions. Seva Jidang. This is Perspective Zah, giving you perspective from my side. Hoping you enjoyed this. Please like. Subscribe, please. I need subscribers. I need views. Share it with your family and your friends. Comment. See you on the next one.